And guys, I'm not sure if you could hear me right now, but as you saw, everyone's hands went up. Every time that the officers have gone on the loudspeaker to talk about the curfew, the crowd goes silent and they put uh, their hand up and the other fist up in the air. Uh, so uh, despite the officers trying to, to get some reaction, possibly to get, maybe to get them to leave, they're not moving uh, and they go quiet. So this is what you're looking at right now. This has happened uh, every time since we've been up here. Yeah, and this, I mean, you know, the police have, I don't know how they're going to, to do this. I don't know how they're going to enforce it because if it's not enforced, well then the curfew doesn't mean anything. Uh, but then also, as we've seen any sort of confrontation, that's the moment it, it ratchets up the, the problem. Well, and Shannon, as we're watching this shot right now, look at people are yeah. locking their arms. Wow. So they, they are holding their ground. I also noticed though, as they were walking towards the uh, state capitol, it looks like there are several lights off. So I don't know if that is a strategy as well. Um, I don't often hang around at the state capitol at, you know, <laughs> 932 at <laughs> night, but it night. looks like around the capitol, uh, they've they've maybe cut some of the lights in the area. Oh, with, that would be maybe interesting. Maybe in the hopes that, that some folks might, might go home, but uh, they seem to be standing their ground as we see them walk they, with their arms. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's quite an image.